Thank God it's Friday. Welcome to the show. I am Mariah Afolabi Brown. As always, I have the ladies. Hello. Hi. How are you guys doing? The, the new set. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I'm set with the troublesome girls. Uh, uh, you love you, Adire. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Rapping Niger. Ah, it's it nice. Yeah. Thank I, you so much. What's, in, what's going What's been happening to okay. you? Okay, we're, we're still on the lockdown, though in my area, not much of a lockdown is happening. You go out and see a lot of people doing their business as usual. Uh, so I just decided, okay, since we're home, let's plan some activities. You know, we listened to that psychologist the other day telling us the kind of things we can do. So I decided to, you know, have a schedule for my games with the children. Yesterday I dragged my husband and said, come, we have to take a walk. Let's <laughs> walk. He said, no, just walk in your car. I said, no, let's walk out. The kids mm. were ready. They were dressed. They said, yeah. daddy, let's walk. Yeah. We took a long walk and back. It was refreshing. Yeah. You know, we yeah. got to see the environment. The kids haven't been really, in yeah. those areas. You're locking them down there. Like Locking anyway. them down. Yeah. <laughs> when we came back, I said, put everybody, put, take off your shoes, yeah. put your feet on the ground. Yeah. Oh, wow. Match sand. I grew up matching, yeah. playing with sand. Are you for that. real? Yeah, yeah, everybody oh, it's therapeutic. Yeah, it is. That's it nice. Is. How are you doing, Nima? I'm fine. No. Um, of course, again, I have shout outs. <laughs> <laughs> I know this one. I have to agree. Yeah, you know. She's a presenter and head of programs with KUFM in Benin City. She's a fan of your view. Aww. Her name is Esther Mohammed. She's called Star Girl on Radio. She's, it's her birthday today. Happy, happy birthday. birthday, Star. Happy birthday. Many more Star, Star girls. Girl. Many more fruitful and happy years for you. Yes. So, yes. And shout out from Ochoa, your colleague from school. Nice. That's my younger sister. Then That's fantastic. I wanted to rant. Employers that have required their staff to continue working, even though there's a lockdown, should provide transportation for them. There's no point standing at the bus stop for long and hailing mm. other drivers who cannot expose themselves, who don't know your travel history or your contact history, to help you. It's disheartening the way people are standing. People have woken up 5 a.m. and they're still at the bus stops because their employers require them to get to work. Mm. Please, if you know, you know that there's a lockdown. You should envisage that there's a frustration and hardship under this Not circumstance. Your Exempt your workers or create, mm. provide transportation. Let them especially run for, for those, Especially for those who are essential commodities, right? Mm. You're going to be making money during this period. Right? Everybody's lockdown. So you should make that extra um, opportunity up. for your mm -hmm. staff to be picked up. Um, but I know, I, I thank you for taking us there because I'm hoping that at some point we'll do the economic impact of COVID-19. Probably, probably, because... The issue is that I'm hearing that there are companies uh, already slashing. reducing and slashing their salaries of mm -hmm. their staff. Reducing their staff. Some, some are even totally going to sack, sack their sack staff. Their staff. So these are economic impacts, not just locally, globally. And uh, it hasn't started happening in Nigeria really, mm -hmm. but the, if, this, the, if, if, the, if the numbers persist, if it continue to grow, mm -hmm. there's that possibility and we need to prepare for it and know what policies we can have, especially, you know, abroad, they have, they can, they can apply for unemployment. Mm. We. Cushion the effect. To cushion the effect. Yeah, there's something like that. You're employed, you're unemployed. Yeah, you, you might, you face faced your, your life. So, I like your but, um, outfit, by the way. Oh, thank you very much. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. I have this new person that I'm yeah, using. Yeah, I can, I can tell. Yeah, so, she's. <laughs> Why are you not mentioning it? I'm trying, her name is Busayo, but I don't know the name of her. I can't remember I the name can of her tell, outfit. Yeah, so, so lovely. saying Busayo is not enough. It's the name of her outfit. If I get the name of her outfit, I'll mention it on TV. So so She's a good lady. She's mm. doing, a good job. doing a good job. Okay, let's go on a break. We have so much lined up for you today. I think it was really driven by yesterday's conversation. Yeah. Many people have been worried about the palliatives, how it's been distributed. So we will be having that conversation. But first, let's um, go through the front pages of the news. But stay with us. We'll be right back. Okay, we're going to start with the nation, COVID-19, 11 patients out of hospital as cases rise to 190. More cases likely, says Minister and NCDC. Picture here of our First Lady hugging her daughter after 14 days self-isolation. Another picture of a medical officer taking samples from the Benue State Governor Samuel Autumn in Makodi. How we battled virus by China. Minister to Varsities, restart session through virtual teaching. Mm -hmm. I'm getting better, says Atiku Son. And soldiers shoot man dead. Okay. So the Minister for Education, mm. Adamu Adamu, has had talks with 237 vice chancellors, rectors, provosts of higher institutions 
talking to them to reopen the universities and resorting to virtual learning so that you know lecturers are talking and teaching their children everybody's cooking on the phone these days mm. by you know by e-learning platforms and all that and i think it's the way to go i think yes as much as it's important that we're on a lockdown we should not totally shut down things that we can walk around yeah but you see the more people that get go. online the harder it is for people to get online because it's Every, it, it gets heavy yes. you don't have that much bandwidth on this yes. and this part of the world to yes. actually do this online yes. learning that we are all now prescribed I, I yes. that you know i don't have that technical you know, i'm just no i know no. we I'm just know saying that it's nice for this minister to say oh let us do it everybody go online can but i remember i online? remember professor Ikariale when he was visiting from harvard after leaving mm. lasso to harvard saying to us that i'm tired of this form of learning where you people have to write by row and paper to, right, to right. do exams as you know my students get their emails right. ahead of time and they're prepared right, for lectures right, so right. This, is, this is maybe this COVID is bringing us to the way where to we go we, we need to, to also to increase our capacity people. like she was saying now to get online to do some work you find out that it's very slow, difficult it's yeah. slow it's not working because online. we don't have that capacity yeah. but the person uh, Mr. Peso who was shot dead in Delta mm. States yes yeah, so this uh, this happened in MPA Expressway worry where you know after the president had given us a um, 14 day lockdown so they were uh, the soldiers were on the road trying to enforce it. Now, this particular guy was driving in his Camry. He was about going out. They stopped him, and he refused to stop. So the army officer gave him a hot chase and was firing as he was going. So, mm. you know, um, all of his tires were, mm. you know, hit. hit, brought down, and the one of the bullets hit him at the back. That was when the car stopped, and he died. So investigations are ongoing to what exactly happened. Uh, Honorable Festus Kiamo on Twitter, you know, talked about, said that he's asking for him to be prosecuted. That's the soldier, soldier. to be prosecuted. Mm. But according to the story on Instablog, they said that the soldier shot him and ran away. Mm. But though the papers this morning are saying that he went to submit himself to the police station. So he's under arrest mm. at the moment. So okay. I want to reiterate it yeah. that when law officers are on the way, on the road, trying to enforce the law that the president has given, if they ask you to stop, please stop. He and was actually running like a criminal when mm. I read the story this morning. And I was upset. So those uh, policemen, is not like I'm trying to defend them. defend them, but they may not know who exactly you are. So yeah. stop and attend to them. Let us, okay. let's not kill ourselves, Let, please. Let's, let's, uh, I was actually going to talk about Tickleson for a second because he said he's right. doing very well and um, he has asked that people should stop passing around fake news, especially from his mm, estate, that, mm. that um, he's fine because fake news make their immune system lower such that the virus the actually fear. then gets into mm. their systems more because there's so much fear out there. Moving on to the punch. Government finds 3,550 contacts concern as cases reach 190. Kogi Commissioner hmm, allegedly assaults rips beauty queen. Lockdown, Lagos shuts mosques where the worshippers attacked officials. Two to die by hanging for killing Uni Oshun student. Atiku denies he is planning to distribute cash. Um, FG begs U.S. billionaire for ventilators, withdraws appeal, and then apologizes. Lufthansa Air France evacuates 637 Europeans from Nigeria. Lots of stories here. Human Let's interest. start with the human interest story yes. as expected. So this um, beauty queen, Elizabeth Uyeniyi, has accused the Commissioner for Water Resources, Abdumuni, Abdumumini Danga. Abdumumini Danga. 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 Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> of assaulting her and raping her over a Facebook post. So what happened was, because of the COVID-19 lockdown, she decided to go hang out with a friend in her place. That friend happens to be the step stepsister of this particular commissioner. So they saw a post where he, he was giving out uh, food, palliatives to people in his constituents. And they decided to, because she was staying with his stepsister, she realized that the guy had not even taken care of the stepsister. So she made a counter post saying that charity begins at home. You should also settle your people. Now, the comedian who put up the post initially screenshotted it and sent it to the commissioner. The commissioner ordered guys to go beat her or pick her up. They took her to another place. I think it happened in Kogi. Yes. And beat her up, delayed her for the night and raped her. Mm. So she is, um, uh, people are speaking seeking up. Seeking for justice. Yes, civil societies are working with her at the moment. They are seeking for well, justice. We're following the story. The governor. You know? yeah. yeah, because we need to follow this story. You know, when things like this happen, no, I like the we fact need that, to ensure you know, you know that those justice women, is served. Yes. Just the way they stood up for the Benue girl, yeah. group of women who know how painful yeah. these things are. 
are usually they get up and they start. When we are in a group of people, I want to see how you go and pick all of us mm. from our houses. And flog if, all if, of us. Because you know the trend traditionally mm. for a man to show supremacy is to first of all beat and rape and degrade mm. a woman. Shut so you mo there's more okay. juice. This is an allegation. Let us no, not. It is an allegation, but there's more juice mm. to her story mm. yeah. because of the marks on her and that her was body. you know further shown by right. the group of women yeah. supporting right. her in this fight. Um, so Nigeria withdrew their appeal for ventilators. Let's take that story so, very yes. quickly. So the um, billionaire, the American billionaire Elon Musk had tweeted that he had ventilators and he was going to go to countries that, you know, it was immediately needed. Mm -hmm. And the Ministry of Finance, Budget and National Planning, tweet, re replied his tweet saying that, you know, we needed this same, uh, ventilators. we needed ventilators. Our uh, essay to the president on social media also tweeted saying, you know, Nigeria is a country with a fast rising number of them and we also needed. Mm -hmm. But then Nigerians now <laughs> went for them <laughs> saying, why are you begging? No, now, African giant and all that. I want to person not get person they beg for. No, Everybody have it. You can't rule. <laughs> if you do not have it, you there's beg. nothing wrong in begging. I think we should be discussing whether it is improper or proper. So maybe we should have done a written whatever but and it, not yeah, go online. Maybe, yes. But Following the one the right today procedure. is virtual. Mm. So maybe mm. it's quicker to reply the tweet. Yes. I really don't see anything wrong. Let's not degrade ourselves and say we cannot ask. For what we needed, yeah. So maybe you don't want to call, be call so it begging. Ask you, for assistance. If you, if you go through Give the, whatever if you go through the thread, people were saying that the giants of Africa, we are rich. All the budget mm. we are spending, all this way you could you we can't afford. Especially because Innocent had offered to actually uh, manufacture locally produced ventilators if Have he was supported. Started? No, he was hoping for government support. Okay. So they were saying that these options are here on ground, and there you are going to beg. So, so this is my own take again. Billionaire. All the rich people willing to support this fight. Mm -hmm. Can one of you partner, because that, you are yes. in the clique of rich people as well, partner your party who is also a billionaire, so, to produce the mask yes. so and since donate it instead of giving cash to, cash. A, to federal government that we are already yes, suspecting. So we may not even that be able to trace. So as the billions are, I've been saying it for the past one week, the billions have been flying up and down. Maybe they should put it towards creating and manufacturing ventilators and, and the official major masks. Story? Let's see, oh, the major headline, go yeah. ahead. If you okay, want to quickly, that. so um, the federal government initially said they were looking for 5,000 people who have been in contact. 6,000 actually. Okay, mm. people who have been in contact with yeah. those who have the COVID-19. Yeah. Finally, they are able to have uh, traced 3,000 1,550 persons mm -hmm. in contact. They are, those ones are being monitored mm. as we speak. I don't know how the monitoring is happening. Hey, they they you. said it was even um, it was difficult for them because most of those people gave their fake numbers, right. so it was difficult for them to get. And they're asking people to uh, go and collect, um, come to Abuja to collect their testing kits. So, so they're asking state governments to come to Abuja to collect yeah, their testing, testing kits. Okay. Kit, kits as we speak. And they're saying, the chairman for the NC, director for the NCDC is saying that there's no preferential treatment right? okay. in the isolation right. centers, whether you are rich or poor, you are treated the same way. Great. Moving on very quickly to Daily Sun. Expect more COVID-19 cases, FG alerts Nigerians. Confusion over COVID-19 cases in Akwa Ibom. Wari directs minister to prioritize payments of salaries. PDP rejects 123 Naira fuel price, insists on 90 Naira per litre. UK, German, EU nationals evacuated from Nigeria. Only governors have power to, to order lockdown from states, uh, says Governors Forum. So Governors Governor Forum is actually there um, adding more oxygen to what um, the Nobel laureate had said earlier, okay. mm -hmm. saying that the presidency does not have the right to... Um, to to declare a lockdown in states because they are independent mm -hmm. and they needed that uh, legal backing. He needed the legal backing to do that. To do that. So but there's also that mean. part of the there's a quarantine act. So there's that there, there are two arguments saying many of the governors are not aware of this quarantine act. We're not even sure, it's just coming out now. That but there's that conversation going the, on. The reality is that every state is independent. We run a federal system. Yes. And every state, just like Sawolu did in Lagos, lock down your state. Your House of Assembly provide the laws to back your back governors to do the needful. Or you can follow suit. Um, the Akwai bomb case. So Akwai bomb had sent um, five cases, their test uh, samples for testing, and they had an issue about how the results came. Mm. The news is that they are they are rejecting the results, but that's not true. They're re rejecting the medium of reporting the results. They're oh. saying that the NDDC tweeted the results rather than send the results to them. To them. Oh. So that they are, they, that wasn't, the, they've already, they had initially sent some my samples that were tested mm -hmm. and proper me, uh, me, methods or due process was followed in the report. But due process wasn't followed in this particular okay. report and that's just we'll the, we'll the Nigerian on. Tribune.
Um, COVID-19 Lagos discharges 11 more patients. UCH MD, uh, CMD now negative. States should provide 300 bed capacity sensors, says Presidential Task Force. Kogi Governor orders investigation into the rape allegation against Commissioner. Mm -hmm. Agege must shut down as worshippers attack COVID-19 task force. Um, restructure all debt service payments, suspend deductions, Governor's Forum tell FG. Okay, yes, go ahead. So the states, um, that's the, tax, the presidential tax force on COVID-19 addressing um, media yesterday advised all states to at, have at least, all of them, 300 beds per state because following the way that the lockdown has assisted them in tracing people, they're suspecting that the numbers will start to rise mm. of people who will test neg uh, positive will start to rise and the requirement to isolate people who will be exposed to them would also increase. So states should start, should start to provide this facility as we have been shouting. Mm. It's an emergency and your security votes can go to that. Okay. Um, so the state governors are asking that the, the government suspend all their debt deductions and uh, because of so that they have enough liquid cash to, to, run, um, the to run their states. Yeah. I don't know how effective that will be now, but um, that is what they are because Some are saying that they are using this opportunity. Shall everybody just using COVID-19 to, to get to, what to they get want. Get no problem. But the situation. states that are not doing anything yet, yeah. they should not also be saying that we, should, we must see you working at, you know, fighting this before you demand. Okay, our final paper Such is Vanguard. Uh, that's the picture story. The Lagos Seals, Agege Central Mosque. Mm -hmm. Porous borders cause rise in COVID-19 cases. And let's find one more. Governor's uh, Presidential Committee meets Buhari says economy in bad shape. Okay, let's talk about the picture story. So the, yes, the Agege Central Mosque was locked down yesterday by the Agege local government, not, not the Lagos state government, because they attacked the presidential tax force going around <coughs> trying to exercise people against mm -hmm. praying. Mm -hmm. So even the scholars have been talking around Lagos that it is required that, you know, the congressional prayers for now be put on hold and they should not hold congressional prayers in any mosque. But this particular mosque, when they were talked to, they chose to attack the tax force members. You cannot help yourself. People that want to help you, you are attacking them. Eh? Okay. So it's good so that they are locked down. They have to run. Okay. They need to be locked down. That's Thank all us. we can take. Uh, when we come back, we'll discuss the issue Nigerians are crying about. This palliatives, how has it been distributed? How, what exactly uh, are we expecting from the government? Because some people are getting rice, others are getting beans, others are getting pepe. What exactly is it? Are you getting something? Uh, are you getting anything at all? Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned, your view will be right back. Welcome back to your view. Thanks for staying with us. So there is a video online about the content in the emergency food response package as shown, uh, you're about to watch it. Um, people are not happy by what they've seen inside. Let me let you watch this for a second. I'm here by opening the bag containing rice given to us by the Lagos State Government as palliative measure for this stay at home order for 14 days. God bless Lagos State. Our community consists of six street, mm -hmm. about 240 buildings. Yes. So we thank Lagos State government for this they gave us. Only one bag. I don't know how many kg is this. <laughs> and this is uh, tomato. I mean, uh, what? Maggi. Gino, Gino tomato. Uh, Gino tomato and uh, Esha. Ah. Ewa Esha. Uh, uh, okay. This uh, one, 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 one delica of beans. I want to deliver it to the community. We don't and want it. it, it has been, want. Although the community wanted to reject it. Yes, you don't want it. But to, I pleaded that since we have collected it and we have had a meeting in that respect to share this uh, beans and rice, no matter how small, <coughs> among our widows in Nigeria, the community. Nigerian rice. And the aged. Oh, if it's it going to be one, one teaspoon food. <coughs> Thank you, Lagos State. Uh, we remain, we we remain no loyal. Right. So that's the video that's been trending on social media. And um, it's important <laughs> for us to get clarity when these kind of things happen. So we have on the phone the Commissioner for Agriculture in Lagos State, Mr. Bolahon Lawa. Good morning, sir. Are you there? Yes, yes. 
Good, good morning. Good to good have morning. you on this. Good, good to have you on the show this morning. My very first question, my, my very first question to you, sir. Yeah. When you decided at ESCO that yeah. you need to give Lagosians palliatives for this period, what exactly yeah. was agreed? Was it to give them um, cash? Was it to give them food items? And if it was food items, what exactly did you agree? And how did you plan to go about it? Thank you very much uh, for that question. And it's also good morning, Lagosians. Good morning, Nigerians. Uh, Again, my name is Dolan Lawad, the Honorable Commissioner for Agriculture and Legal State. On the 27th of March, the Governor of Legal State, Mr. Lucia Lapson, flagged up the emergency food response to cater for 200,000 households. How did we arrive at food? We deliberated at the ESCO that, okay, is it good for us to give us money? Do we have the data of all the residents of Lagos? We do not have all the data. So we decided to, to do what we call stakeholder mapping. Who are the people that we supposed to target? We all agreed. We should target the vulnerable Lagosians. Who are the vulnerable negotiations? People that are, one, in the informal sector, people that are, that will be most affected by the lockdown. A lot of people, we all know that 60% or more of negotiations are in the informal sector. Informal sector are those that depend on daily wage. If they don't go out today to the market, or to, they will not be able to earn a living. So they are going to be the most affected. Then we, should, we also did, we identified communities, indigenous communities in the city. Of course, we have the data of indigenous communities that we have been, that have almost every Lagosian that has been, whoever that has been following the trend of the, of the right. economy so of Lagos. So how did you arrive at 400,000? No, no, I'm, I'm trying to build my case. I hope you don't mind. We identified the communities. And in those communities, how do we give out the, what the handouts, the, the package? We agreed. What kind of food are we going to even distribute? We all agreed. We should not go into perishable goods. So we agreed that it is stable food that we should do. What are the stable food? There's hardly any home that does not eat rice. Or Gary or beans. So we all agreed on those staple foods. And of course, bread. That was how we came to those four food items. Gary, rice, beans, and bread. So how do we distribute? As I told you, we did the stakeholders mapping. People came up, oh, artisans. Oh, I came up with, oh, butchers. You know, but we agreed. Oh, let's even look at last trackers. Do we have enough? We said no, we definitely do not have enough. But in Lagos, almost every Lagos resident has belonged to one resident association or C D mm -hmm. or the other. Okay. So we agreed to deploy the C D A and C D C. In Lagos, it's important for me to let you know, there are three thousand nine hundred plus. CDA. CDA are in, in what? CDC is the council, is in local government. So we agreed that we should have, that we should use that channel, the network of CDCs right. and CDAs. Okay, because of timing, I have to pause you for a yeah. second because there's so much we want to get out yeah. there. So we, yeah. we, we, we understand you, uh, you engage the, the LCDAs and the various community leaders to help you distribute. CDAs, not LCDAs. This. Community Development Association. Uh, community Development okay, Association. Okay, sir. If you engage yeah. community development associations in local governments like Apapa Igomo, what exactly yeah. led to what happened in front of the LCDA eventually, the video surfacing online, where there was a crowd of adults and children queuing up for food stuff at the Apapa Igomo? Thank you very much. Uh, I'm from Apapa Igomo. And we 
search all the areas, yeah, from Badia to Tariq or to Abule. We could not find any school. You know, we use school premises. We could not find any school that would be able to contain the crowd, the multitude of people there. Don't forget, Badia is known globally as a low-income earning community. But we agreed. Instead of going to other places, the local government secretariat has ample space that will be able to. And the point is, it's not for us to distribute from there. We are to distribute to the CDAs, the councillors, and the religious leaders. Mm -hmm. But when people got wind of it, they stormed the location. Unfortunately, we have re strategized. We have strategized and we are improving. But the case of Papa Gomez, because I'm from there, mm -hmm. I'm from there, I live, I live there for more than 20 years, you know, so I know the area very well. But we could not find any big okay. location. All right, sir. Yeah. So I am concerned about the quantity of uh, the palliatives. Okay, now, on the quantity, on the quantity, thank you again for that question. We agreed that the population of Lagos is over 24 million. We all know that. Is it all the 24, Lagos, 24 million people that want to feed? No. no. As I, when I started my, 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 my point, I, I told you that the, the, the needed, the, the vulnerable people in the society, those are the people we agreed to first face. And 200,000 households, households, if you multiply also one household by six, we all know the normal uh, demographic, the way we, 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 the indicators for households, six people. Mm -hmm. That would be 1.2 million. But what is important, this is the first phase, the first phase. So negotiations should just be calm. If we are not in your area yet, or your community yet, we are coming. No, sir. We are coming. They should just be relaxed. They should be calm. Okay. I want to assure you, we have the directive of the governor. We have the directive of ESCO. Sir, the target, I think she wants to let, 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 let me finish the question. So okay, the quantity I mean is, let's take, for instance, the video that surfaced outside. Okay. We yeah. have that CD had six streets with about 240 buildings. And then for that CDA, they got just 5 kg rice, how many dairy cow beans, two sachets of uh, uh, tea, uh, uh, such, uh, yes, tomatoes. So how is that, even how many people did you identify in that CDA that were supposed okay, to now, share let me tell you. Let me in tell that? You. Can, can I just help you? Can I help you so that yes. I, I have an opportunity to let the questions know? Okay. CDA is supposed to be in a ward. Okay. It is difficult for us to say this is the number of blocks in a street, on, on a street. Okay. It is only by the CDA and the council laws. We have LOC, local organizing committee, that comprises of council laws in that ward, CDA, the executive chairman and the secretary, and the religious leader, whether imam or the member of CAN. Okay. Those are the people that we use as the distributors. Okay. Now, if we are saying three per street of 40, that is not part of... Are you saying the entire street is there are indigent people? Let's even assume there are indigent people. But the fact is, these are the first tranche or the first 200,000 are the First, is the first phase. I can assure you that we are coming back. We have a, a complaint session in the in the in the unit in our in our organization. Okay, I have, have all to, the complaints. I have to go on a quick break. I have to go because I'm much. not. I, will. I, I won't lie to you, sir. We're I'm not clear. clear. Yeah. I am absolutely not clear. Uh, but, but when we, we're going to go on a break, when we come back, we'll tr we need you to clarify some gray areas for us. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. 
Thanks for staying with us. So we still have the Honorable Commissioner for Agriculture and Lagos State, Honorable Bolan Laola. Are you still there, sir? I'm with you. Good. So we needed some clarity. What uh, Biajilo was saying earlier concerning quantity, that bag, is it per kitchen? family or per CDA? Household. 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 Right. We have begged them, we have begged them that they should give it to a household of six people. Six household. people. Any okay. household that it does not get to, we will come back. I can tell you for free. We see have thousands of pounds. All right. But do you agree with me? I'll come to you, Nima. But do you agree with me that your distribution channel is kind of flawed right now? Exactly. Because in, I do not. Let me, let me tell you, let me explain why. I do not. Be let me, I let me explain not. why. Because I in different not. parts of the world, when you're trying to distribute something like this, you yeah. can, you can, there's, a, there's a mapping you, you see where people are actually observing social distancing, where we know that we want to come and collect something. Mm -hmm. However, we are also um, not oblivious of the fact that this thing can pass from man to man. So yeah. we're not expecting a crowd. We're expecting an organized crowd such that they've already marked the flaws. Mm -hmm. When you stand and wait for your turn, that bit wasn't carried you, out. You I just put out food for food to be I'll send you pictures of where we add that. If okay. we are talking about, I will not say isolated case, <laughs> but there are places where that was observed. There okay. were so many places that we will let you have the pictures. I'll send okay. you the Please pictures. Please do. And I, can, I can attest. For you to let people, negotiators will come out to tell you, the way and manner they were handed sir, the, the, the facts. Okay, sir, All I right. can attest to what happened in my own LCDA. In Oriade, I spoke with the chairperson and I confirmed that you, it was neatly done. In fact, there was no crowding and they were able to spot certain areas. But when you focus on religious leaders to help distribute and only LCDAs without identifying the real indigent people, mm. the people you are trying to serve will not get it, yes. which was the argument I had with my chairperson. Okay, the now, people in my community that are truly indigent Mariah, that I can identify Mariah, didn't get Mariah, it. What we have also done, what we have also done, recently we sent out messages to people that are above 60. Those are the people that registered with the legal state uh, right. Resident Registration Authority last right. year. And we got one, only 91,000 people okay. in, that, in, that, in that data. Out of that, we did filtry process. People that said yes, 20, 25,000 people have been identified with their addresses. That's why when we say register, register with the last year, we, they are that now. Next week, those people that are registered, that we have their, their, their data, we will be going to their houses to hand over the package Perfect. to them. Okay. So the that is the strategy All right. that All right. we have deployed. And All I can right. assure you, give us time. Negotiations should be calm. We right. are coming. Okay. We see our more food. Okay. okay. All right, All right. So, so the method of sharing where you have a lot of people gather in a place defeats the purpose of um, social distancing. That's one. And wouldn't it be uh, better if you had found a way to have these deliveries done door to door, you have you uh, you can you can actually think and plan on it. You have local government people who are working. You have volunteers who will come out and have, deliver have, door have, to door. Have, you have your social I'll register, you pictures, sir. Morayo, I'll send you pictures, videos of where we have done that. Door to door. I'll send you pictures. Yes, door to door. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind, I'll send the pictures and I'll Please. appreciate if you can share the pictures with the okay. negotiators. Okay. I can, I'll send you the pictures now or if you are on WhatsApp right. and, you, and you throw it out. Okay. Thousands so, of places where we did okay. that. But if you consider animal show, or really again, we are not giving excuses. Okay. But for the fact that social distancing gu guidelines, we actually wanted, we asked for this, but it is not for us because we wanted to give people food packs for us to not be using violence against those people that we so, we, a we quick are, clarity, sir. Government. A quick clarity. Where you partner with local government, is there any, let, okay, let me put it like this, is there any um, instance where you had to partner with local government and you dropped off food stuff for them or that you did distribute yourself like I he heard um, in my local government? Mm -hmm. Or, what we do, so what because we people do, are, people are alleging that some local government be, chairmen are now converting what you have distributed into yeah. bags that they printed their names on. Yeah, and I also, we that well. also add that, but it is not true. But we are investigating. We have right. an investigating team that that is already going around to check. We have our part. You understand? But we will. I'm not ruling it out, but I can. I can. I want to let you know 
that we have a team that's already going around to investigate. Okay. We have several. All right, questions. I have to let you go. Mm. Thank but thank you very, you very much. much. But think... what I want you to do for right, me, right. tell Lagosians, we have done 15 local governments. Mm. We will be wrapping up today and tomorrow. Okay. Lagosians should just be calm. They should stay at home. The package will come to them. Before I let you go, very quickly, are you giving out cash in cash? addition? We do because we'll be hearing stories. Cash. We do not give out cash. You don't cash. give out cash. Just, just subscribe. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir, for joining thank us this morning. Thank you for having morning. me. I mm. appreciate my so we'll be speaking to the Commissioner for the Culture of Lagos State, Mr. Bolao Lawal. Um, right, so we're going to go on a quick break. When we come back, the trending issue concerning um, Queen Salawa Abeni is also hot. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So before I bring in our guests, let me just take a few tweets from the last segment. Very quickly, Nima. Okay, so Shebeo Timo Fausa said, my prayer is that may we not be in desperate need that we'll have to wait for the Lagos State palliative measures of a thing. Tutu says, that commissioner is being evasive in his response. I don't get his explanation for all questions. I think he's just being defensive. Mom Beauty says, there are a lot of things that, that are not making sense to we Lagosians. Please, how did you come about 200,000 households and what statistics did you use to get the number of households? Okay, we'll still mo be monitoring that story as it goes. As it, as it said, they are not done. They're yeah, still they're ongoing. Still, yeah. Moving on now to the legendary musician Salawa Abeni, known as Waka Queen, exposed a man threatening to blackmail her with old semi-nude pictures sent to her privately if he does not get money. But she, however, went ahead to post the uh, pictures herself to the disappointment of her blackmailer. Now, the question is, what happened exactly? <laughs> Joining us right now is the queen herself, Alaja uh, Salawa Abeni. Good morning, madam. Are you there? Good morning. I'm there. Good, Good to morning, have you. So, I'm fine. T tell us, how long has this blackmail been happening? When did he start c calling you to make demands? It's only day before yesterday. Okay. okay. Hmm. Just yes. day before yesterday. It's only day before yesterday. Do you remember when he took the pictures? I didn't remember because it's a long time ago. Mm. Hmm. So when he when he contacted you, Ma, what exactly did he say? Did he call you or he sent a message via WhatsApp? What exactly did he do? He sent a, he sent me, he sent a message to me. Okay, saying? Uh, he said, uh, um, on, on WhatsApp. Okay, okay. He said, good morning, madam. He uh, said, uh, hello, madam. He said, hello, madam. I didn't answer because I didn't know the person. Yeah. The next, the next follow is that uh, I have your new picture. Say so I have your new picture with me. Yeah. That uh, uh, either like it or we should negotiate. Yeah. I said I didn't say anything. He was right. He was sending it. I was reading it. So he said. Uh, how are you going to see a popular uh, queen Salawa Beni? She has a picture uh, on her Instagram, Twitter, and uh, Facebook. No, sorry to interrupt you. I, did, I didn't say anything. Mm. I was just reading it. Okay. So then he called. I didn't pick it. Hmm. If he did video calls, I didn't pick it. He now said well, we should negotiate. So when I paid, I should pay. How he much was he asking for? How much, eh? how much was he asking for? I did. I did not. Maybe. If I answered him, okay. maybe he will ask for opportunity. I didn't answer. I'm just reading it. Okay. When he said, he said, let's negotiate. That when you pay, when I paid, uh, mm -hmm. he will burn all the pictures so that he will show it to me. Right. I didn't say anything. I was just reading it. I was reading it then. He now sent the picture to me. He said, ah, ah, you did not answer. Are you amazed? He was just asked. He said, okay, his name is Jason. Does he give me three days countdown? 
I didn't say anything. I was just reading it. Because it's, it's, it's the first... That's the part that amazes me. 7 a.m. in the morning. But okay, you shocked? The message is up to 10, 15 a.m. in the morning. All right. We were just sending it. I was just reading it because I just... So I, I wanted to understand the calmness, I'm man. Back, so I don't know. All right, man. Were you... Did you find it unexpected? Did it just happen? Were you shocked at seeing somebody trying to blackmail you all of a sudden after all these years that you've put into your career? Or, you know, you were just ready? How, and why did you even think of posting it, uh, posting it yourself? I can't hear you very well. What made you decide and to post it, it yourself? What was your initial reaction? Was there fear? Was there shock? And why did you resort to posting it yourself? Hello, ma. Did you get Hello? that? She said that, I mean, why did you decide to post it when you got the, the information from that young man? Were you shocked? Were you scared? And why did you decide to post it by yourself? Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't want, I don't, I don't want, I don't want him to do unnecessary things and then I don't want, I, I'm going to be 60 next year. Yes. So, and I've been singing for the past 46 years. Somebody will just come somewhere and said it's going to blackmail me mm. for no reason. The person I didn't know. I said, okay, mm. if it's the picture you mean that you can use to collect money from me, let me <laughs> post it by myself. Let everybody see it. Mm. That is what I did. Mm. That's good. I have nothing to, to lose. Okay. I don't have anything to lose. All right. So, my, did I you... post it to all the world so that, and I can see that. Everybody, the way I even, the way I even think is going to be beyond that. Everybody, everybody, everybody just started posting it and started fighting for me. Mm. Yes, yes ma'am. Yeah, because blackmail is a crime. So, ma, did, did you, when you got the pictures sent to you, did you recognize the picture and at what point you lost those pictures? Because I believe they were hard copies, right? I, 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 maybe. Yes, they have it, but I didn't remember. The picture will be around 30 years ago. You can judge it mm. between there and now. So, so I, I, there's no way. Maybe that is why I put there that maybe I, I may seek, I may be in the hospital. Right. And the world, I may right. be with my partner. Mm. Ma, very, all, ma, very, very, very importantly, have you reported this now to the police yes. officially? Yeah. Have they tracked yes. this young man yes. and yes. is he in yes, custody? Of course, I did. I did report to the police. Okay. Yes. What's, what's, I his, did. what's the status right now? Have they found him? They, they said they are working on it. We picked up yesterday. Okay. Oh, fantastic. We'd like to know how far their investigation goes so okay. if they can find him. I hope him. they catch him. But it's good definitely. to have you on the show. Well done for inspiring us. Thank you, us. ma. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, thank you. Your but, 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 thank you. Ma, ah, before I let you go, before I let you go, Yes. People have been calling you, right, on this matter. Oh, God. Uh, has, it, has it encouraged you anyhow? I mean, how do you feel the response you've gotten so far? Mm, the love. The love and support. Ah, in fact, the, the response I've been getting from people is it, more so they said, sometimes I'll be just looking my phone. For, for my phone, then I'll just start calling them one by one because oh. I can't answer two, three times in. Wow. At the time, wow. but I will make sure I answered everybody because wow. their response is encouraging me. Wow. Wow. You're, uh, yes, you're blessed, and man. giving me power that ah. So I'm I'm using this opportunity. I'm very happy for you people for the what you did to me this morning. Mm -hmm. All over the world, not even Nigeria alone, yes. both abroad. They are just calling, they are just pressing some, they are, they are, they are checking for the person. Yes. Epeloku. <laughs> Epeloro. <laughs> Epeloro right now. He will be caught. <laughs> Dealt with. Thank you very much, ma. God bless you. Yes, ma. I don't know, Ribe. Yes, ma. And you people, your feel, I always be your people. Thank you, man. And I will continue to be. God bless you. And you people always be. Thank you, man. God bless you. Thank you, God bless Thank you, you so much. All right, man. Okay, so we're gonna break now. We come back. We we'll bring in our celebrity guest. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So our special Nollywood guest today is veteran and award-winning actor, producer, director, who has written his name in gold in the Nigerian movie industry since the past four decades. He was the first and immediate past president of the Theater Arts and Motion Pictures Association of Nigeria, Tampan. Welcome with us, Mr. Dele Odule. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Good sir. morning my sister. How yes, you so fine. We're going to record a video. Now, wow, now, wow. Yes, so how are you no, doing? I'm how are well. you keeping this uh, well, lockdown? I, well, we are trying to cope with the situation. Mm. Uh, and I think uh, the situation here in Nevada is a little bit calm. Right. But we just, um, you know, uh, pray for uh, God's intervention. Mm. In Ibadan. Okay, Ibadan is pretty calm. That's I've not really mm. heard much. Okay, oh, that's on your state now. Yeah, that's hmm. right. We're getting lots of news, though, that they are monitoring about 248 people. But don't worry, let's not go even to COVID matter. But we just spoke to Elijah Salawa, Benny. I don't know if you heard that conversation. Um, you heard what happened. Let me just ask you, what are your general thoughts about it? About the young man trying to blackmail her. You mean uh, about uh, Elijah Salawa? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Is what are your thoughts? Is it concerning this uh, uh, the Black picture that the actually blackmail? Yes, they tried to blackmail her. We just spoke to her a yeah. few moments ago. Uh, let me quickly tell you this. You know, stardom, you know, has its own price as well. Mm. When when you enjoy stardom, you should be expecting some blackmailing. You mm. know, it's unfortunate. It is not peculiar to Nigeria system alone. It's, I think it's a globally menace. You know, when uh, you you are you know enjoying popularity, those people who are not who are not who are envious of what you enjoy will definitely you know look for a way to bring you down. Mm -hmm. I want to believe that is exactly what is happening to. You. Uh, Alaja Salawa Abeni. Right. And I actually looked at, at the picture. It, it, it didn't look to me as a nailed one at that. Mm. It, 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 it seems like uh, Alaja was actually on the hospital bed. Mm. And even at all, you, 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 you are privy to a new picture. I don't think you also need to, to, to use that as a weapon because, you know, she enjoys her father. That right. is not too good enough. You should pray to attain such a height. That's the way I see it. All right. So, okay. Okay, go on. So, sir, so I wanted to ask you as an actor how okay. it's been with this um, COVID-19 lockdown that we are facing. And uh, because I know that um, normally you guys get paid per the movies you do, per the TV series you do, and now you're going to be at home, you're not working. Though I hear that some people are secretly shooting in certain areas what do you say about that and how are you coping with not making money this time well well let me let me quickly say this i don't think any reasonable people will be shooting at this point in time mm -hmm. one um the, we won't be able to you know uh, uh comply with this uh, uh distance uh, what have you yeah. we won't be able because a lot of people are involved in film production mm -hmm. Uh, you know, from the crew to the artist, and then by the time we actually work in, we attract crowd again. Mm -hmm. You see, so uh, I don't think any reasonable producer will go to location and be working now. Okay. And I, you know, the the association that I belong to, even before the lockdown, we have locked ourselves down. Mm -hmm. We have decided to go on vacation. We have decided not to work for you know. Uh, some period so that uh, until this coronavirus is uh, out of the way, uh, because we also put into con consideration the, the the effect of the kind of job we do. Mm. Uh, when we when we when we have productions, uh, not only those who are involved are always around. Right, we still right. have some people who just come around to come and see what is going on. Okay. Some people actually want to use such an opportunity. Uh, to, to meet their stars and, right. and so forth. Okay. So this will have generated a lot of people around. So we know that and we have decided to even lock ourselves down. Right. Let, let's let, let's move away from COVID a bit. <laughs> let's uh, distract our people. We, we but um, concerning uh, whether uh, the hardship we may likely to, yes. you know, at least pass through right now, 
Uh, well, it is not peculiar to artists alone. Yeah. It is not peculiar to we in the film industry alone. Yes. This is a generic situation. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think um, uh, those who actually very wise, not artists mainly now, when they see little, they should be able to keep little because of this kind of, okay. you know, All right. time. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So being a veteran in this, um, in acting, I would like you to talk about your, your journey and what you see presently. About, about who? Being a veteran. Can you hear me? Is there something wrong? This is the second report. No, can you please, uh, let, me, let me hear you clearly. I can't hear you very clearly, maybe because mm -hmm. of the way. Okay, so, uh, Moriah must repeat what I've said. The, being a veteran in this business, okay. I'd like you to talk about your colleagues and, you know, the career choice uh, people make in acting, how they arrive at uh, the decision to act. Most people now join, you know, the, there's a troop way of getting in. Most people do not resort initially to having a degree or any course or studying anything concerning acting. How has it improved? the business of acting in or the Nollywood, Yoruba Nollywood in Nigeria, or how has it contributed to, you know, to the, some disadvantage to it? Well, let me be brief about it. I have said it many times that when you are into a particular trade, when you are into uh, a profession, it is good to be uh, practically grounded. But the theoretical part of it, you still need it. And the only way you can acquire that is just to have a tutelage, you know, under an authority. Either going to the school to actually know the rudiment of the job, or you learn from those people who have become an authority in the business. Mm. Because when you don't know the theoretical part of it, you may not know the commercial side of what you are doing. Mm -hmm. You know, you may not know the commercial side right. of what you are doing. So the theory and the practical is actually important right. if you actually want to stay. Uh, so let me the... let me ask you this question, sir, because in the oh, last one year, I've been trying to, I've been getting my children to watch Yoruba movies every time. They're only, they're only allowed to watch cartoons and Yoruba movies, but okay. I've, I've found that. The Yoruba movies I knew back then, where you hear values, you you see, you hear proverbs, you hear things that make you learn. And these our Yoruba movies these days are so modern. They try so much to keep up with the modern way of yeah, life, such that I don't even feel comfortable anymore having my kids watch it. But, what yeah, are we doing yeah. to ensure that Yoruba movies are, are, at least retain culture. a good but, part of our culture? <laughs> well, uh, um, let me let me quickly. Wow. Closer. Aha. Uh -huh. I, I can't hear you, but I think I had to a point, and I know where you are actually driving to. So let me quickly say something about this. Any profession that has no standard, um, mm. we may find ourselves in such a peculiar mess. Mm. You know, I have said it many times that until we have a body that will control the industry, mm. we may have every, you know, Dick Harry and Tom, coming into the business. And these are the people who are actually messing up the whole thing. Mm -hmm. They are the people who actually don't know. Some people are just coming in because they want to showcase their beauty. Some mm -hmm. people are coming in because they want to cover up with that industry. Mm -hmm. So if you look critically, if you look at those people, you will realize that, that we still have very few, mm -hmm. very few productions who actually make sense. But unfortunately, we have, um, you know, those ones that have saturated the market are those, people, are those productions coming from, you know, these uh, uh, untutored producers. Let me use it that way. If I say untutored, I mean somebody who actually don't know how it goes. You know, the nitty-gritty of the job. And that is why you see some people, they don't want to know the ethics. They don't want to right. know why... Okay. You know, it is not all about entertainment alone. Theater yes. or so, film production is not all about entertainment. It's all about information. It's all about education. But unfortunately, uh, we don't have standard. That's okay. where I started. All right. Point taken. Uh, yes. As for as first president of Tampman, what okay. exactly have you done to sanitize this industry? You well, um, um, you know, we have uh, different bodies. 
We have AGN, we have Tampan, we have uh, uh, ANTP, we have uh, RTD. We have, we have, we have, we have, you know, imports of artistry bodies here and there. They are listening for us to come under one umbrella, and that is why I actually embraced this Moticon, you know, then. I thought it will actually, you know, come to uh, 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 being. So that uh, we can now, we can now, we can now have just one body that will control, you know, film production. If you know what it takes to be a producer, you won't go out of, out of the way. You will do, you will strictly adhere to the ethics of the job. It is just because the majority of people that are showing out all this rubbish we are talking about, there are these people actually don't know much about production. Right. And I'm sorry right. to have said that. Okay. All right, yeah. sir. So uh, the industry, like we see it, seems to favor women more than it yeah. favors men in terms of uh, resources. And this okay. has misled a lot of young women into getting into the business, mm. thinking yeah. that you just act one, two, and you hammer. And yeah. then you get there and you realize that this is not actually what is giving money, so to speak. Yes. So what yes. are you doing as someone who's been in the industry for a long time to educate young people who are looking to come into the industry? Did you hear me, sir? Yes, I, I think I heard until what are you, what are you doing? What are you trying to do to educate the young ones? I heard to that point and I think i have I've had you. I know where, where, where you are actually going. Yes, sir. You see, like I said initially, I said that uh, we have a lot of people. I owe nobody apology on that. Okay. That uh, we, have, uh, we have some people who are actually into the business, not because they are genuinely interested in that profession. Okay. They just see it as an avenue, at okay. least to showcase other things that they have as an agenda. Hmm. So, for the fact that, um, you know, the young ones are, and not even in Yoruba, will tell, you will say, uh, mm -hmm. I die, you know, my horo, you will, you know. Uh, uh, it, it, that means uh, the, 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 the current dog is in the right position to, to actually uh, run after a, a, a rabbit. That is, you know, the, 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 the current rabbit. Right. Uh, you see, the problem we are facing now yeah. is the, the young ones, particularly the female actors you, you just mentioned, mm -hmm. the majority of them, I'm not saying every one of them, yes, the majority sir. of them, it is not the, the, the genuity of the trick that makes them to be in the industry mm. or makes them to be in the industry. Right. They, okay. they are there just because they have a hidden agenda. I have to let yeah. you go. <laughs> yes, go ahead. They have a hidden like agenda. I, and, like, and like I said, uh, we have different artistic bodies. If I belong to Tampa, I have no right to say someone who is not a member should not do this and that. Mm. Yeah, that is the beta truth. But... Uh, as a leader and some other leaders that we have in Tampa, we do to talk our members mm. that this is not good enough. This will even mess up the, uh, the profession. This is not even good for you as an individual, as a, a, a human being. Right. Okay. But to our next stage, so we when, you, when have, you said he did, he did an agenda, so when you said uh, he did an agenda, do you mean doing side runs, side gig? Uh, what exactly do you mean, sir? Uh, okay, okay. Some people, okay, you, you, you all know, except you want to run away from the fact. Majority of the female actors that you have just said, they are not making their money. They are not making their millions. I, I, I appreciate God, you know, for the life they are living. Mm -hmm. Well, either good or bad, in as much as it's good for them, to God be the glory. Well, well, isn't that judgmental, sir? That, I, would, I, would, I would call that judgmental and somewhat sexist. Eh, yeah, come again. Said, <laughs> Assuming that it's the women, the female actors, that they are, they, they are the ones that don't have, the, they're not coming in with that ingenuity of the industry. No, they're not coming in. Particularly, you said, especially the, 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 the female, you started it. Yes, I asked the question. 
Yeah. Uh-huh. You, you ask the question, you start accept, especially if you have generalized it, maybe mm. I wouldn't have been mentioned. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but the thing is, you said especially the right. You're right. And, uh, and you all know, it is not a hidden fact, that even the young ladies in the industry are more richer than the young, 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 the young uh, yes. uh, actors. Because they're right, right, sir. Aha. You, well, most you of them that. claim to have they businesses. They are women. They are versatile. No, but they claim <laughs> to have businesses. Of Some of them show us pictures of shopping mall, free mixing centers. Female actors, uh, female actors that live in Lekki, ride uh, mm. all these, uh, you know, big cars. Like I said, I thank God for their life. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, you can't. You, it, we have very few in the male counterpart. So are you saying that the industry is not necessarily as rewarding as they make it seem? Bam. 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 Come again, come again. Are you saying, sir, that the industry yeah. is not as rewarding as they make it seem? No, 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 no. That is just a beta truth. Forget it. Mm. That is the beta truth. Mm. That is the beta truth. Mm. That is just the beta truth. Mm. You know, uh, anybody who says Bang. that is, is actually living large in the industry and uh, he, he, the, 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 his large life, is actually coming from the proceed of acting is a lie. Mm. Mm. That sir. is very good. <coughs> sir, that's also, fine. Sir, I can I also, let me let me come this way, sir? Let, let, no, no, no. Let me let me let me let me let me go further. Okay, you, I yeah. am not saying no one of them. I will I will just pick somebody. I will mm. pick just one person. Okay. Eh? If one Kakindele comes out now, eh, yes. to tell me that it's living from art, I will say definitely yes. Yes. I will say yes. We can see. Uh -huh. That is it. It's because it's obvious. Yeah, we can it's see. Obvious. You can't be on this it's or traceable. that. You, you can trace just say it. that and you don't have something to show for it. It's, it's obvious. Mm. But what about people that you won't see, see. getting involved, mm. even going to locations and they will, say, they will tell you, I, I, I write this, I have built this, mm. I got, I've got this, and so on and so forth. So it's obvious. Mm. So, and sir... I am not saying people are not making it from the industry, mm. but the ratio. But that lavish life. Mm. No, 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 no. But is it, I, I come to okay. you, Nimo. Is it, is, it, is it wrong for a woman who is an actor and yeah. decides to do other things to augment her, 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 her revenue from acting? So should yeah. she be judged because of that? Because, yes. Let me tell you one thing. If you are deeply involved in acting, you yes. may not be able to do some other thing. Yes. That is I agree with you. Okay. I agree. You may not, it's it's time consuming profession. Mm. You yes. may not be able, you may not be able to do mm. some other thing. Mm. Okay. I agree with you, sir. So I'm happy yeah. that you are putting it on the table. And I wish that a lot of young people are watching to understand that if you want to get into this industry, get into it for the right reasons. Because there will come a time where you'll be frustrated, you will not make money, you shoot how many episodes and they pay you 2,000 naira per episode. And by the time you calculate, it's not even up to 30,000 naira. I've been there, I have done it. And you hear people say, I make this and I make that. And you're wondering, is it that my head is lacking? oil or God is not blessing me enough. So young people should know that this is a profession where you have to work and work and work and it will come. It may come okay. at the end of the day. You see, but don't look at people who yeah. are shining from yeah. other aspects right. and think this is what right. the industry is all but about. But people would also say that it's unfair to compare Ifunke Akindele because Ifunke Akindele has a TV show. Yes. It's a, 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 it's a show. No, she grew. So, you see, so she, we can see the work she's doing. Exactly, that's this point exactly. Let me pick another actor. Okay. I don't want to talk about Ifunke Akindele. Look, let me go, let me pick Adelaide again. You know, that's another boy in the industry. Yes. Are you with me? Yes. I have called him severally. Listen to me. I have called him severally that although for a missuru from location to location you produce, you do this, but that is just hard working. Mm. So he is mm. making it, you mm. know, in that industry. Mm. I am not going to get surprised. At all. Yeah, I am not going to be surprised. Mm. I have just called him to tell him that. So that you know, but you know, be wood. Mm. You got but, to write. Uh, well that is not to say that I'm not going to appreciate mm -hmm. the hard working in the young guy. Mm, eventually. So if anything is coming as you know, uh, reward of his hard working, do I have to be surprised? 
Right. Okay. All right. Finally, sir. After run of year. Oh. How has it been for you? You are an actor, you are married, and you have been able to sustain What's that you? marriage. So, so, but we hear actors are not able to sustain their marriages either. because of the kind of industry. What, what do you do differently to sustain yourself? What, what, thank you. Ah, let's not lose that connection. No. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Uh -huh. Hello. Yes. I'm beginning to hear you again. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, see, uh, uh, now, um, well, I have said it even jokingly in the production. When someone was asking me, ah, can you call, can you call? I said, no, but sure I know. I think my background has helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, if you are saying, uh, I'm a kikili, I would tell you I am not I'm a kikili. Mm. Uh, you can I can be referred to as an mm. I have been in the industry for 43 years mm -hmm. now, and wow. if I am in the, in the in the industry for 43, definitely I should I should be at least 10 before I started. Or of more. <laughs> so anybody who is above 50 is no more a yeah. So for me, you know, to still be very relevant in the industry, I want to attribute that to God. I believe it is God doing. Uh, and for the marriage, I have us up, 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 and, up, 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 up and down, you know, also. Okay. But you see, um, social media, as good as social media is, it has its negativity. It will. You know, uh, um, yes, uh, uh, golden fish has no hidden, uh, you know, place. Mm -hmm. But all the same... Uh, uh, social media have actually okay. exposed a lot of things right. that not, you know, pri my privacy is my privacy. Yeah, I, yeah, enjoy, right. I enjoy Point. my privacy right. a lot. Point and again. I think, uh, like I said, it's right. not that I am better than any other person. Right. Uh, uh, it is just, okay. just let, let me just put it that way, to God be the glory. All right, sir. What should we be looking out for now? standard of an average actors uh, yeah. in, in Nigeria, particularly this Yoruba stuff, <laughs> I want to get a final question to you, sir. Yeah, so what should we be looking out for? What, what are you working on presently? Any new movie in the works? Uh, I mean, I've been in a movie on COVID-19. Uh, COVID-19, yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you working on? Should we be expecting anything from you? Movie? Uh, well, uh, you mean, uh, what am I working on? Yes, yes sir. Okay. Con uh, you mean the production, right? Yes, yes, anything. I actually want to. Uh, I want to go into series now. I want to go into serial productions okay, where series. you know we, we have a lot series. of television houses in the right, country, yeah, right. uh, and so content. that one can syndicate it and get across to more fans. Mm. Uh, that's my plan for now. Maybe uh, after this, uh, haha one will be able right. to sit down and think and write. Then, uh, okay, thank you so much, sure, for joining thank us. Thank you, sir. On the show. You enjoyed your conversation. <laughs> Have a fabulous suiting. weekend. Yes, Daniel. I think her family is suiting that she loves, she loves you, sir, and the way you speak. Mm. Mm. Okay, we'll be speaking to uh, veteran actor Mr. Dele Oduli. He has been joining us in the last segment. and. We've had a fabulous conversation yeah. with him. Yeah, it was very nice to talk to him. Very, very <laughs> loaded. Yes, indeed. Okay, that's all we can take on the show today. In a bid to protect ourselves from coronavirus surge, please, please follow the basic hygiene. Wash your hands frequently. Maintain social distancing. Don't touch your eyes and nose. I know I've been touching mine, sorry. And if you have a fever, please call the numbers for NCDC so they can, you can get tested if you're having issues, difficulty breathing. Um, have a fabulous weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Take care. Bye. Oh.